A lot of people have a little bit of confusion over the difference between social security disability and short and long-term disability policies. The reason for that is because they're very similar. They use a lot of the same laws. However, social security disability is a federally funded program. It is funded by the social security tax that people pay when they're working. Short-term and long-term disability is a private insurance that you can purchase through companies like Aflac or Guardian. And those are usually purchased by individuals or they are purchased by some unions. Some employers will purchase them for their employees. So a lot of people will call and ask about short and long-term disability when they mean social security disability or vice versa. A lot of people will not actually check to find out if their employer or if their union or anyone like that has a policy for them. Some of our clients will contact us when they are applying for a shorter long-term disability plan. Uh, sometimes they will call us when they are trying to actually go on to short and long-term disability. Uh, we do have people who call just for advice when they're still working, but they feel that they're not going to be able to because they have an upcoming surgery or something's changing at their company or at their job. Most of the time when people contact us for a short-term and long-term disability issue, it's because they were denied. Then there's several reasons that people will get denied for short or long-term disability. Most of the time it is because their conditions are not logged in their medical records. Their doctors did not provide accurate descriptions of what's going on, or they did not provide medical records, or they did not respond to the questionnaires that the short and long-term disability company sent them, or they made a determination that the person is not disabled. So the way that they make a disability determination in those plans, it borrows a lot from social security law. Essentially, if you can show that you are physically and or mentally unable to do the job that you were doing under most plans, it has to be the exact job that you were doing, you can go on to your short-term disability plan. Typically, where you'll see somebody getting denied is either right when they try to go on the short-term disability plan or six to nine months later when it rolls over into the long-term disability plan. At that point, the company, the insurance company, is looking at it more of a long-term expense. They put a little bit more of effort into evaluating the case to see if it's going to be worth paying this person out for however many years. Some of these policies last indefinitely. Typically, what they will do is they will review all of the medical records. They may send you to an independent medical examiner that is a doctor that they hire and that they pay to evaluate your issues and evaluate your case. Those doctors are going to say that you are able to work most of the time. They are paid to basically say that you are able to work. What we do is contact their doctors and get all of their medical records. We will contact the disability company and we will get their file from them and see how they evaluated the case. And if needed, if the medical records are not strong enough, we have our own doctors that we can send them to that you know will evaluate their case. We have several companies that are very neutral and they will give us a very neutral, objective opinion on whether or not this person can do that job or can do other similar jobs. So that is often a step that we'll use.